All right, so I'm going to read um, the Human Body and Insiders Look document um, so you can read with me. Um, but if you just want to read on your own, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to start the title. Um, so while I read, okay, so this is hopefully the second time you're reading it, um, you um, actually start annotating it while I read. You can pause um, the audio and um, use the universal annotations poster at the front of the board and um, make sure when you annotate where you have questions uh, and an important fact when you comment on the test text um, circle any unfamiliar vocab words and you can draw a little spiral squiggly um, line next to any science words okay um, so here we go so the human body and insiders look what you need to know what about that human body man that thing does all kinds of stuff did you know that you have 11 body systems and that each one has specialized cells, tissues, and organs that all work together to make your body work? Starting from the outside and moving in, you have the integumentary system, the muscular system, and the skeletal system. These systems work together to protect and move your body. On the inside, you have the respiratory cardiovascular, also known as the circulatory system. We're going to probably use circulatory system uh, more often in class. The lymphatic system, excretory system, digestive, reproductive, and endocrine systems. And last but not least, the one that controls them all, the nervous system. Each system has a specific job within your body to help it maintain homeostasis. Ooh, that's a fancy um, science word that we're going to talk about later. But none of the systems could function without the other. The integumentary system is the largest system in your body. It's your skin, your hair, and your nails. Your skin protects you from uh, the outside world and is made of three layers, the dermis, epidermis, and the fatty layer. One function of your skin is to help regulate your body temperature by letting heat out through millions of tiny holes in your skin called pores. Your skin is also responsible for helping you to sense the world around, notifying you if you're cold, hot, or if something is crawling your, on your neck. Ew. The muscular system works together with your skeletal system to move your body. Each muscle in your body is attached to a bone that pulls it against, that pulls it against, which then moves the bone. You have lots of different types of muscles. Your upper arm muscle is called your bicep. Your chest muscle is called your pectoral muscle, and the big muscle on the front of your thigh is called your quadriceps. Just like your muscle, there are a lot of bones too. Your sternum is your breastbone. That's the hard bone in the center of your chest. Its job is to protect major organs like your heart and lungs. The radius is a bone that is in your forearm, which allows you to twist your wrist. And if you hear a funny joke, you might call it a knee slapper. But if you're a scientist, you'd call it a patella slapper. Bones are manufacturers too. They make our red blood cells necessary for carrying everything your body needs to each one of your cells. The respiratory system functions in getting oxygen out of the air you breathe. Your body is actually pretty efficient when it comes to breathing. As air enters your body, it goes down your trachea, a cartilage line tube in your throat. You can feel it if you touch the front of your neck. It's kind of lumpy. Then it goes to your bronchi, two tubes that branch off the trachea and enter your lungs. Inside your lungs are millions of tiny air sacs that are only one cell thick, making it super easy for oxygen to diffuse across the cell membrane. Okay, so this is the next um, column of information on your worksheet. Okay, so what you need to know, continued. The circulatory system that takes the oxygen and moves it around the body. The heart is a powerful pump. It can move all of the blood around your body in less than a minute. The cardiovascular system is made of a system of tubes, vascular, meaning tube. So the system of tubes are called arteries, veins, and capillaries. Arteries carry blood away from the heart. Veins carry blood to the heart, and capillaries join them together. The most significant artery in the body is called the aorta. The lymphatic or immune system works very close with the cardiovascular system. It helps our body to fight off disease by circulating white blood cells throughout our bodies. The immune system consists of glands all over the body. So when you get sick, those glands nearest the infection can start making white blood cells. That WBC means white blood cells. Making white blood cells to stop that infection in its tracks. 
One gland, called the thymus gland, is very close to the heart and it helps to protect it from disease. The excretory system helps your body to get rid of waste and includes the urinary system as well as the respiratory, digestive, and the integumentary system also. The major organs of the excretory system are the kidney, which filters your blood of liquid waste, the bladder, which stores liquid waste as urine until it is ready to leave the body, and the liver, which breaks down worn out cell blood cells and also helps your body to metabolize, or meaning metabolize, break down, um, to metabolize drugs like aspirin and ibuprofen. The digestive system processes the important stuff out of our food before turning it into waste. When you take food into your body, it passes through your esophagus, a long tube that carries the food down to your stomach. Once in there, your food gets all churned up and turns into this mush mushy substance called chyme. It's like a really uh, nasty milkshake. Then it's sent to the small intestine, where all of the essential nutrients are removed and sent to all of the cells of your body. What's left over? Well, let's just say it gets flushed down the toilet. The endocrine system and reproductive system also work together. The reproductive system consists of the male and female reproductive parts, the ovaries and the testes. These organs make the sperm and the egg, the cells that determine who we are. The endocrine system uh, regulates these organs as well as other organs without our bodies. The endocrine system is responsible for making hormones, and it does so using glands. Two such glands are the thyroid gland, which controls our metabolism, and the pituitary gland, which controls, among other things, our growth. The last system is the nervous system, the mac daddy of them all. The nervous system controls everything you do and everything your body does. The brain is the major control center and sends messages all throughout the body. It's made up of billions of neurons, tiny, tiny nerve cells that act like a telephone, like telephone wires as they send messages from one organ to another. The spinal cord is attached to your brain and helps deliver messages to the furthest parts of your body, like your hands and feet, but it can act alone, like when you need quick reflexes to avoid tripping over something or avoiding other dangers. Your body is an amazing piece of machinery, working hard every day to meet the needs of your environment and ensuring your survival.